Welcome to my channel Steam's Tech. In this video, we will learn about introduction to Python. This is very basic. So this is an on-demand course in which we are going to learn about the basics of Python, introduction to Python, variables, types of variables and type conversion. Again, which are of two types, implicit type conversion and explicit type conversion. Very easy. Come, let's learn together. To begin with Python fundamentals, I will introduce Python first. So Python is basically a high level interpreted programming language. It was created in late 1980s by Guido Van Rossum and is designed to be easy to read and write. Python is widely used for web development, scientific computing, data analysis and artificial intelligence and many more. It has a large and active community of users and developers making it a popular choice for beginners and experts alike. So what is PYPI? PYPI is Python Package Index. It is a giant online repository for modules that are accepted by Python community. Official third-party software, it is also known as official third-party software repository for Python. Let me show you. So here on Google, just search for PYPI here, type PYPI. You will see this pypi.org just open it you can see here there are so many projects right so you can search for any package for example i have package math math package is there so you can see here useful math function this is just describing the name of the package this is used for useful math functions like this and if i search for pandas you can see here powerful data structure for data analysis, time series, and statistics, right? We have another NumPy packaged for numerical Python. So to check the version of Python install, just go to CMD, type CMD on your system, open it, open the command prompt, type py space dash dash and version. To know about your version which whichever version of python in, is installed on your system you can simply go to command prompt and just check with this command on my side i have 3.11 and 0.1 this is the version which is installed on my side so here what are packages packages are i told you math package i showed i have shown you on pypi community by pandas numpy these are all packages so if i need to define packages a package is a collection of modules that have been bundled together usually for a related purpose packages allow you to compartmentalize your code and keep related modules together making it making it easier to organize and maintain your code base right so how to use packages for example you might have a package for handling data processing tasks or a package for working with scientific data you can simply import a package by using the import statement followed by the name of the package for example we have import math we have a package math and here i'm simply using the keyword import to import this package so if i need to show you here i can import any package like import math like this I can import pandas. This is another package for data analysis and statistics, right? So you can simply use the import keyword to import this package. So these packages are already installed on Jupyter Notebook that I am using, right? So if a package is not installed, first of all, we'll have to install it. Before importing, using this import keyword, we'll have to install that package, right? So for that, we are using a command pip install we will do it later right so if we have installed a package for example we have installed pandas how we can access modules within a package once you have imported a package you can access the modules and function within it using the dot notation so dot notation is something using which you can access anything within a module or within a package right so packages I can say this is a package and modules are within a package. Package contains modules. So modules may be functions, maybe attributes and 
any other things right so in this package pandas we have a module or we can say this is a function read csv so in order to use it we'll have to use dot notation followed by like first of all we'll have to write the name of the package then dot notation and within this package what function what whichever function would we would like to use we can write here the name of the function and within the parenthesis here we'll have to pass the path to that csv file that it wants to read right we will do about it later in detail don't worry how to install packages in it is really easy i told you that if you have if you have already installed the packages or these are pre-installed packages like pandas in jupyter notebook is pre-installed math packages pre-installed but some packages are not installed right so in order to install them we'll have to use the pip command so install packages using pip keyword pip stands for preferred installer program for example pip install and then here you will have to write the name of the package right python script so if you are using jupyter notebook ipy nb is the extension of python file and print statement is something that will print anything for you comments are nothing but these are the statements which are written after hashtag and these are not executed these are used to explain the purpose of the code right then we have variables and types and type method so variables are is a smallest unit that can store data right and there are various types of variables for example integer is there string is there float values are there boolean is there and many more right so to check the type of the variable we simply use type method right so i'll show you so this is the first program here we are simply using the print command and within the parenthesis of this function print we are simply typing hello stmsec and this is giving us the response this is giving us this output so here before using the print statement we have written here comment simply comments are describing the code so here you can see print function is used to print everything right so what are variables a variable is a named location in memory that stores a value when you create a variable you can assign it a value and then later on you can refer to the value stored in the variable rather than the value itself these are case sensitive right so let me show you so here a is a variable what we need to do is simply put a equals 10 or here i'm using 10 here if i write type yeah, i'm using type function to know the type of this variable so you can see here this is type int if i write one point or we can say 11.0 if i am asking it to type give me the type of the variable a that contains a floating number that floating number is nothing but a number that contains decimal point so this is giving you the type float so if i'm writing here a string so a string can always be written within quotes so this is str that represents string boolean value is either true or false make sure you put t capital true now it is boolean value false false is also a boolean value so that is why it is giving you type a that is bool right so we know the print statement we use simply use this print statement i have already shown you in the slides or I can write here welcome to esteem stick right so I can also use comma and a a is this right a is false here that is a bool value so if I need to print this and a as well you will get this right so if I'm using we can also concatenate it with plus 
but in this case when you are using plus both the statements should be of same type for example if this is a string right but a here is boolean if i am hitting run it is going to give me error so in this case i'll have to convert this a that is boolean to string this is called type conversion we call it type conversion here what we do is a was boolean and i'm using the method i'm using this function str to convert this variable which is boolean to string right so this is called type conversion we will do it right See, this is called type conversion so now it is not throwing any error and it is just giving you the whatever you required so it is printing welcome to steam stack and then it is printing the value of a that is now a string value if see now this is a string value and it is a uh, concatenated with the other command that is a uh, welcome to a steam stack in this case right so type conversion i recently talked about type conversion in which we converted a variable a which was boolean to str that means we converted boolean to string this is called con type conversion right so type conversion is the process of converting a data type into another data type there are two types of type conversions first one is implicit type conversion which is performed by python interpreted interpreter only python interpreter will do it itself we need not we will not interfere in this case explicit type conversion is performed by the user by explicitly using type conversion functions in the program code such as str string right str is a, a string function int bool float like this so see for example i have a variable a equals 10 and now i want to convert this we know this is integer right so if i write the type of this variable a that is integer but in case i if i create another variable bool that i convert to float now if i ask the type of b now it is float this is float a is integer and b is float but it is not going to accept two parameters because this is not meant for two parameters here only we can type one parameter at a time so we'll have to use here print statement this way and print statement to type of a as well so b's type is float and a's type is integer similarly if a has some value i would say true this is boolean value and i want to convert this boolean value to string right so now a is string no yeah a is boolean and b is string now you can see here b's value is printed firstly that is string and a's value is bool it is simply giving us the type after we converted it right so I hope you got the concept of type conversions. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. We are so thankful that you are supporting us.